What would you do if on one particular day, 10 jumbo jets collided in midair and half the people were dead and the other half would be maimed, taken to hospitals? Wouldn't you ask for an investigation of these air crashes? Wouldn't you recall these air jets? Wouldn't you inquire about the air control safety regulations? Wouldn't you be outraged that people have died, apparently unnecessarily? But you know, that story repeats itself every day in North America. How? Because in this country, we have 1.5 million heart attacks every year. As if 10 jumbo jets collided in midair every day for 365 days. In our society, every second death is due to a killer disease that is actually self-made and culturally promoted and totally unnecessary. We don't have to have that many deaths from heart disease in our society. This is a disease that is not found in 70% of the world's countries. And in our society, we didn't know heart disease. We didn't have heart disease until about the 1920s. This is a new epidemic. And the interesting thing is, it is not just because people get older, oh no. This disease can now be documented to begin in children at the age of three and four years of age. This is a new epidemic. This is not something that you find everywhere in the world. As a matter of fact, in Japan, 1960, it was so rare in Japan that the university medical school in Tokyo had to import coronary arteries from North America to show medical students what killed every second person in this country here. Many people begin to realize today that this disease has to do with atherosclerosis, a gradual narrowing and hardening of the arteries. It looks something like this one here. This is the killer in our society. This is where you see the gradual narrowing of the arteries, and by the time a person is 50, 60 years of age, you have 60, 70, 80 percent narrowing, and the blood can no longer flow adequately to the heart muscle, and the heart muscle begins to starve for oxygen, you develop angina, and ultimately a heart attack. Let me show you what it looks like. I first woke up, so to speak, when I was working on the anesthesia service, learning how to put people to sleep. And I was seeing my patients for the next day's surgery for coronary artery bypass surgery in order to bypass clogged arteries in their heart. Because it was late at night, I drew the man's blood test. And when I took the blood to the laboratory and had it processed, I couldn't believe my eyes. Now, normally, this liquid layer floating on top of the blood clot is quite transparent. It's a yellow, but quite clear. You can see right through it. The blood in this patient's tube, however, was anything but clear. The serum floating on his clot was thick and greasy white. It looked like glue. In fact, it stuck to the sides of the blood tube when I shook the tube. I went back to the patient. I said, Mr. Phillips, did you eat before you came to the hospital tonight? He said, yes. I said, what did you have? He said, I had a cheeseburger and a milkshake. And when he said that, I realized that what I was looking at in his tube was all the fat in the beef burger, all the butter fat in the cheese, and the butter fat in the ice cream, and in the milkshake. And all this fat had oozed out into his blood and actually turned his blood fatty. Well, 30, 40, 50 years of keeping your blood very fatty creates changes in the blood vessels that are very dangerous. Over the years, arteries can become clogged with fatty material. Then a blood clot can form, blocking the blood flow completely. If the artery leads to the heart, the lack of oxygen can cause heart muscle to die. That's a heart attack. If the clogged artery leads to the brain, the patient has a stroke. The next morning, we took Mr. Phillips to the operating room, and I put him to sleep, and the surgeon opened up his chest. And from these arteries, he began pulling out yellow, greasy deposits of fatty material called atherosclerosis. 
Did you see the real killer? The underlying disease process responsible for heart disease, strokes, much of the impotence, claudication, blindness, hearing loss. Did you see the killer? Atherosclerosis, a gradual narrowing of the arteries, depriving the body of the proper oxygenated blood. That's the killer. And yet, the good news is, you can actually open up these arteries again. You can melt down the plaque buildup on the inside. You can actually open these arteries again, and all you have to do is make some simple lifestyle choices. It's all up to you. You don't have to be a statistic, but you have to remember, healthy choices make the difference. You want to be healthy? Then make good choices. Healthy by choice, not chance.